So let's start with our sensory system. The first topic, the sensory receptors. So coming to our sensory receptors, the major classification of sensory receptors are these. The types are mechanoreceptors. What is mechanoreceptors? They are going to sense the mechanical stimuli. So this is going to sense the mechanical stimuli. Then what is thermoreceptors? Thermoreceptors, as the term indicates, thermo means temperature. So these are going to sense the temperature sensors. So these are temperature sensors, temperature receptors. Then nociceptors. This nociceptors is the most important topic here. What is nociceptors? Nociceptors is nothing but the pain receptors. Nociceptors are nothing but our pain receptors. Then electromagnetic receptors. What is electromagnetic receptors? The sensations which sense the electromagnetic waves, they are called as the electromagnetic receptors. What is the electromagnetic receptors in the body? It is nothing but our rods and cones. It is nothing but our rods and cones which are present in the eye. Special senses we will discuss just right after the higher functions. It is also a part of CNS only. Then coming to the chemoreceptors. Chemoreceptors are nothing but these are chemical sensors. So they are going to sense the chemicals. So what are the chemical sensors in the body? Like taste, then olfaction. Other than this, we have other types of chemical receptors also. Like which sense the O2 stimulus, like CO2, which we will be seeing in the respiratory system. So these are the chemoreceptors. They are going to sense the chemical sensations. So among this, the mechanoreceptors are important, then the nociceptors are important. So let's talk about the mechanoreceptors little further. The mechanoreceptors, they are classified into tactile receptors and proprioceptors. Both of them are very, very important. The tactile receptors has been asked multiple times in the MCQs and proprioceptors along with spinal reflexes have also been asked. So we have to pay attention further. Other than this, there are other mechanoreceptors also like including the cochlea and the hearing, the vestibular apparatus which is sensing the equilibrium. They also sense the mechanical like linear acceleration and vertical acceleration. Then finally, the baroreceptors, which we will see it in the blood pressure ma management where it is going to respond to the stretch. Stretch is like a mechanical stretch. So that's why they are included in it, mechanoreceptors. So coming to the most important mechanoreceptors, that is the tactile receptors. There is absolutely a chance of an MCQ in this tactile receptor questions because it is asked very repeatedly. We have four important tactile receptors. First, we have to know the name of all of them. The first one is the Meesner's corpuscles. Second is Merkel cells. Third is Pacinian corpuscle. Finally, the Ruffini ending. In this, we are going to discuss them under the following subheadings. That is the receptor description. What does the receptor mean? Then location, adaptation and what is the best stimuli. As we can see here, two of the receptors here are encapsulated. Encapsulated means they are surrounded by membrane like this. This is the encapsulation. What is the another encapsulated cell? See here, there is an onion ring kind of encapsulation seen here. So both the, these two receptors are encapsulated. So receptor description, these are the mesonous corpuscles are dendrites which are encapsulated in connective tissue. And Pacinian corpuscles, these are nerve endings encapsulated by concentric layers. So this is nothing looks like an onion peel appearance. This appearance is called as onion peel appearance, which is the Pacinian corpuses. So two are encapsulated. The remaining two, that is the Merkel and Ruffini nerve ending, they are not encapsulated. As you can see here, they are just a free nerve ending. They are dendritic endings. Both of these are dendritic endings. So both the Ruffini as well as the Merkel are dendritic endings. One is present in the epidermis, that is superficially. Another one is present in the dermis layer. So coming to the location, you can see from the diagram, just remember these diagrams, it is very easy. Two are located superficially. The first two, which starts with M, that is the Meesnes as well as Merkel's. Both of them are located superficially. The remaining two, that is the deep receptors, are located deep, that is the Pacinian and Ruffini. Already we saw some similarity between the Meesner and Pacinian. Both of them are corpuscle and both of them are encapsulated. And both of them are rapidly adapting. So both the corpuscles, just remember, both the corpuscles are rapidly adapting. So adaptation, rapid adaptation is seen in both the corpuscles. Now, these are rapidly adapting. The Merkel's and the Ruffini are slowly adapting. So this is also important. Now coming to the most important part, what do they sense primarily? The best stimulus for a Meesnes corpuscles is nothing but a movement. So whenever any movement is happening or you are touching a moving object, then it will be sensed by the 
mesonous corpuscles. Now, Merkel's is the most important corpuscle, which is also an MCQ corpuscle. Why it is an MCQ? I'll tell you because it is going to sense touch, point, edges, and texture. So, whenever we are touching and feeling, like the edges, texture, all of it is felt with the help of Merkel's sense. So, one important reading, like blind people, how do they read? They read through the Braille system. So, this Braille system is capable, the person is able to read in this Braille system because of this Merkel's corpuscles. Merkel cells, sorry, Merkel cells. This is very, very important. This is involved in Braille reading. Braille is a scientist who has identified this for his students. And the receptor involved here is Merkel cells. So, remember this Merkel cells. Then coming to the Pacinian corpuscles, the most important stimulus for this is the vibration. Vibration stimulus. Since, why these, lo these are located deep? Both the last Pacinian and Ruffini, they are located deep. So, a simple touch cannot stimulate them. So, it has to be a a little more deep touch like a kind of vibration and finally the last one which is involved in prolonged touch as in pressure so this ruffini ending is involved in prolonged touch and pressure so this entire table is very very important definitely there is a chance of an mcq from this